Slime Timers. NFL Slime Time is back. That's right, season three. This is the show where football and slime collide. This is NFL Slime Time. Oh, yeah. Go long. You know it's slime, 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 slime time. This is NFL Slime Time. Let's go. Get ready, Slime Timers. Let's go. Bring on the slime. NFL Slime Time is back. Slime, 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 slime time. Welcome, Slime Timers, to this special edition of NFL Slime Time Extra Points. I'm Nate Burleson. Oh, yeah. It's up and it's good. I'm so happy the NFL is back. It's your boy, Young Dylan. Now, if you're new here, welcome to our show. NFL Slime Time is a weekly celebration of football and fun. And it's nothing like you've ever seen before. Check this out. This, this, this is NFL Slime Time. Are you ready to football no, with us? This is it. We got the highlights. That word turning into slides. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah. Now that's how you do it. And this year, we're adding even more slime. Oh, yeah. It's going to be great. Okay. The 2023 NFL season is here. Are you ready to count down the NFL slime time? Top 10 teams with us? Oh, I'm ready, Nate. Okay, let's go. Number 10, the Seattle Seahawks. The Seahawks make it into the NFL Slime Top Top 10 for one big reason. And that reason? Geno Smith. Facts, Nate. Geno balled out last season, putting up some big time numbers. And this season, he might have one of the best receiving crews in the NFL. He's got DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett. And who's the new guy named? Jackson Smith and Jigba. He's their first round draft pick out of Ohio State University. And he got game. The Hawks are ready to fly. Number nine. The San Francisco 49ers. Brock Purdy is back. Remember him? Oh, yeah, I remember him. Brock took over as a starter in week 14 last season and finished the regular season with an undefeated record of 5 and up. And in the playoffs, he picked up two more wins before the Niners failed to your Eagles. Oh, yeah, I definitely remember that. <laughs> and I also remember the Niners are dangerous. Thanks to the trio, Christian McCaffrey, Debo Samuel, and George Kidd. That Purdy to Kittle connection, it's a real thing. For sure, Nate. Number eight. The Los Angeles Chargers! Let's start with the defense. Joey Bosa and Khalil Mack. Watch out, quarterbacks. Mm-hmm. You ain't kidding. That's a dynamic duo ready to wreck havoc this season. And on offense, the boats are charged up with the quarterback, Justin Herbert, and running back, Austin Eckler. That's our 2022 MVP of MVP. Yeah, for sure. He racked up an NFL best 18 touchdowns last season. Wow! Number seven. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. The Jets are back. New and improved. Starting with Aaron Rodgers at quarterback. Rodgers is a legend, mm -hmm. and he got some receivers that can ball. The Jets are ready for takeoff. Not gonna lie, Nate. <laughs> New York's gonna be fun to watch. Sure is. Number six. Dallas Cowboys! America's team has won mean defense. Oh, yeah. Micah Parsons and Demarcus Lawrence will have quarterbacks on the run this season. And on offense, I'm looking forward to seeing that Dak Prescott to C.D. Lamb show. Now, that's a tight combo. Mm -hmm. Number five. The Baltimore Ravens. When I think of the Ravens, I think of this man, Lamar Jackson. He does it all. <sighs> Sometimes he just looks unstoppable. That's a fact. And how about this offseason edition? O-B-J! Odell oh, no, Beckham Jr. is now in a Raven. Wow! And they added Zay Flowers and Nelson Aguilar. Get ready, AFC North. Number four. The Cincinnati Bengals. When you have Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, and T. Higgins, Anything is possible. Jamar is definitely one of my favorites, Nate. And I sure hope he's bringing his gritty back. Hold on. Hey, 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 don't give him 
too much, Nate. You're right, you're right, you're right. Who they nation? They won 12 games last season. The AFC is stacked. Can they do it again? That's the question. Number three. The Buffalo mm -hmm. Bills! This team looks like the complete package on paper. Mm -hmm. They are scary good. That's for sure. <laughs> and it all starts with their quarterback, Josh Allen, and one of the league's best receivers, Stephon Diggs. And on the other side of the ball, they got talent. Yeah, that's one tough defense. Number two. The Kansas City Chiefs! Whoa, 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 whoa. You mean the Super Bowl champion, Kansas City Chiefs. Yes, mate. The Super Bowl champion, Kansas City Chiefs. Mm -hmm. Even the Eagles fans got to admit, Patrick Mahomes is the guy. Yeah, he is the guy. And that combo of Mahomes to Travis Kelsey, sometimes it's just unstoppable. Don't remind me, mate. I already know. It's all right, deal. Because the number one team in the NFL Slime Time Top 10 is... Yeah, I knew that you'd like to say that. Admit it, Nate. The Eagles are back and better than ever. You just may be right about that. Jalen Hurts, A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, Dallas Goddard, that's one stacked offense. And we have a great O-line and a serious defense. This is the Eagles' year, Nate. And you're going to talk about it every single week. Isn't that right? Yeah, probably. Fly, Eagles, fly. Fly, Eagles, fly. And that does it for your NFL Slime Time Top 10. Now, that was just 10 teams in the NFL. If you're still looking for a team to cheer on, you have 22 more teams to choose from. 32 teams all fighting it out for one trophy. And there it is, the Vince Lombardi Trophy. That's the prize awarded to the team that wins the Super Bowl. And check this out, Slime Timers. We also have a trophy. This is our Nickelodeon Battle Player Trophy! Each week, we'll award an MVP trophy to a player who helps his team to victory. And has fun doing it. Check this out, Slime Timers. Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. Drum roll. This week's MVP is Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> Austin Eckler. What? Travis Kelsey. Jalen Hurts. Lamar Jackson. Joe Burrow. You're the MVP this week? Finally. <laughs> Thank y'all. It's got to be one of the best trophies I've ever gotten. Now you know why it's the most fun trophy in sports. There will be a lot of great competition for our MVP trophy. And our Nickelodeon NFL insider Dylan Schefter caught up with a guy who I bet will take one home at some point this season. Who was your favorite NFL team when you were a kid? My favorite NFL team growing up uh, would have been the Chargers. Um, growing up on the West Coast, uh, I liked the colors. Um, you know, I liked the team, and they had some good guys on the team, so it was fun to watch. So what's the coolest thing about playing in Los Angeles? The community is great. They've done such a great job supporting us. It's been really fun to enjoy. I know that Los Angeles and, like, California all around is very famous for, like, celebrities, so what's your favorite celebrity sighting? Oh, I actually saw Austin Eckler one day, so that was pretty cool. Yeah, I think we live in the same areas. To see him out and about, it was good to see him. Your teammate, Austin Eckler, is famous for two things. One, becoming the MVP of MVPs in the year 2022, and two, playing a mean air guitar every single time he scores a touchdown. What air instrument do you think that you would be great at? It doesn't really fit in with his guitar, but uh, I think if I could play the air violin, uh, that'd be pretty cool. Could you quickly just play like your best air violin for us? You're credited as the co-founder of the Sheldon High School Fishing Club. What makes someone good at fishing? If you're going to be good at fishing, you got to have a lot of patience. You know, it's, it's a long sport, and uh, it, you're not always going to get a bite. So to be out there, to know what you're doing, and have the patience to stick with it. What's the biggest fish you ever caught? I caught a sailfish off the coast in Miami. I think that might have been maybe three or four feet, so uh, it was pretty cool. That's like 
a little bit under the size of, of me. That's crazy. You've been slimed before, so what did that feel like? You know, it was kind of tough to get out of my hair, but it was, it was cool to, to be able to share that moment with the team. Growing up a Nickelodeon fan, it was always cool to see. Back in 2021, you won our MVP award. So where do you keep the trophy? It's actually in my office at my house right now. Uh, you know, it's up there on the shelves. And it's got the cool Nickelodeon blimp on there, so it was an honor to win. Thank you so much for coming on NFL Slime Time. We appreciate you taking the time today. It was great talking to you. You bet. Thank you. Great job, Dylan. Yo, he sounds ready to ball out this season. Not real, Nate. And I know who else is ready to go. George, George Johnston the, the fourth. fourth. Because, because George knows football. football. Duh. The 2023 NFL season is upon us. And just like starting a new school year, some NFL players are coming to a new team as the new guy. And if the new guy is a first year player in the NFL, he's called a rookie. Just how do you become a rookie? Well, one way is to get drafted by a team. The NFL draft was held back in April in Kansas City, Missouri, where over 300,000 fans attended the three day event. 259 players were chosen to have the opportunity to make it into the NFL. Three of the first four picks in the draft were quarterbacks. The first overall pick, Bryce Young, was chosen by the Carolina Panthers. The second pick, CJ Stroud, was taken by the Houston Texans. And Anthony Richardson was the fourth overall pick of the Indianapolis Colts. Home of one of our favorite mascots, Blue. Yeah, that's Blue. The NFL Draft is a really cool event, and it's not just for the players. This year's Draft Weekend featured an NFL Play 60 Zone, where kids were able to train like the pros and put their skills to the test in events like the 40-yard dash. There are also current and former players signing autographs, and some lucky fans even got to take photos with the Vince Lombardi Trophy. And you know it's a big time event when Casey Wolf shows up. As for the rookies, I can't wait to see what some of these new guys can accomplish. G4 out. Thanks, George. And great job by the Kansas City Chiefs and their fans. The next NFL draft, which is in April, will be held in Detroit, Michigan. Hey, yo, deal. That's a fact. Oh, and you know who else got facts? Mia's got facts. What's up, Mia? What's up? If you watch NFL Slime Time, you know we love to celebrate kids playing flag football. And the game is growing so big, it's already played in more than 100 countries and on every continent. A few months back, the New York Jets and the Chicago Bears teamed up to help launch the Jets and the Bears NFL Flag League, the first ever league just for girls in the UK. You know, the United Kingdom, home of Big Ben and Parliament. And here at home, both teams have been leading the way in growth of girls' flag. The Chicago Public League now has over 1,200 players and 60 teams. And since 2011, in New York and New Jersey, the Jets have been supporting and funding New York City's PSAL girls' flag football. And the Jets have also grown their own girls' program from eight teams to over 110 teams in just three years. Now that's pretty impressive. Okay, it's pretty early in the season, but it's time to talk about the Super Bowl. Because for the first time ever, the biggest event of the year will be taking place in Las Vegas, Nevada. And for the first time ever, Nickelodeon will be broadcasting the game. That's right, CBS Sports and Nickelodeon will both be bringing you Super Bowl 58. It's going to be a slime-tastic Super Sunday on February 11th. And we can't wait. I'm Mia B, and those are the facts. Nice job, Mia. That's right, Super Bowl 58 is getting slimed. The Super Bowl will be a simulcast. You mean slimulcast? <laughs> Good one, Dill. I see what you did there. <laughs> And on Christmas, it's Nickmas. We have an epic matchup between the Raiders and the Chiefs. And if you've never seen Nickmas, check out how we Nickmas. Los Angeles, California, home today of the Nickmas game. Whoa! Whoa! Characters flying out. Is that Santa, Santa. Claus? Hello and welcome everybody to our Nickmas game. Merry Nickmas to you. High energy out there on Christmas Day. The Yeti. The Yeti. I oh! Oh, oh, no! oh my goodness! The Yeti. 
Yeti oh. is just causing havoc. Oh! 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 That game is so much fun. Christmas ain't Christmas without Nickmas. So it's the Nickmas game on Christmas Day, the first ever Nickelodeon Super Bowl on February 11th, and an all new slimier season of NFL Slime Time, kicking off on September 6th at our new time of 7.30 p.m. Eastern, right after Tyler Perry's Young Dillon! Yeah, that's a power hour! For sure, Deal. And that's all for this edition of NFL Slime Time Extra Points. I'm Nate Burleson. See you soon, Slime Timers. I'm Young Dillon. Hey! 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 Wait! Wait! Oh!